Hello everyone and welcome to Wine Raccoon. Today we have Horse Heaven Hills Frostbitten. This is an ice Riesling. It's a 2021 from Richland, Washington. This is supposed to have notes of ripe pineapple, honeysuckle, and peach, and lead to a honeyed sweet stone and tropical fruit finish. That's quite a lot. Now I do want to point out for those of you who are interested in iced or ice wines, excuse me, uh, this particular bottle is considered to be a fake, in quotes, fake ice wine because of the fact that the grapes were frozen after being harvested from the vine. Um, I am thinking about doing a whole non-review related video on that subject because I do think it's actually quite fascinating. So if that's something that you'd be interested in learning a little bit more about, drop that in the comments below. Let me know. So let's go ahead and take this one for a spin. If you've watched my videos before, you know I love sweet wines. This is no exception. Ice wines are dessert wines. So they are incredibly sweet. And the whole process of how they make it is the reason why these are so incredibly sweet. Um, the first thing I get is a very beautiful, sweet peach flavor on the sides of my tongue. It's really, really nice. And you get that honeysuckle the on the back sides of your tongue um, very very nice but all over it mentions uh, honeyed sweet stone and tropical fruits it has that bit of I think it's because of that sweetness it lends itself to it, it's like it's like honey provided that sweetness um, the honey, the honeysuckle and peach flavors, but like the main sweetness was provided by honey. It's so nice. You do get a little bit of that pineapple, which was the first flavor mentioned on the tip of your tongue. It took me a couple sips to kind of get it, but I think I do. But really the two flavors, peach, and honeysuckle with like a honey undertone and it's so so nice um it's hard to say sweet stone fruit and tropical fruits that's pretty generic um so i mean yeah it's 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 fruity um but yeah in my opinion this is lovely but i'm always gonna have a bias towards sweet dessert wines so take it for what it is that being said um like dessert, all dessert wines, you can only have so much. And that's part of the reason why it comes, you'll notice, in these bottles that are quite small compared to regular sized bottles of wine. They're about half bottles because it takes so many more grapes to make a bottle of uh, a sweet dessert wine versus a regular wine. So that's good if you want to have this for your dessert or with your dessert. Um, that's really fabulous. So I'm actually gonna keep this where it is. Um, honey, honeysuckle, peach, little bit of pineapple on the tip of the tongue with those honey undertones. Very, very nice. Um, if you see this, you're interested in, in those flavors, that sweetness, go ahead and pick this up. So I would say for the uh, Horse Heaven Hills Frostbitten, on a scale of zero to five, zero being I never want to drink this again, and five being I want to drink this every day. Um, I want to give it a five, but I would actually probably give this a 4.5, only because of the fact that I think it could use a little bit more acidity to kind of cut through that sweetness just a little bit. Um, it is, you know, a little heavy in the mouth. I don't want to say syrupy because it's it's not obviously that heavy. 
um, but it can be. So a little bit more acidity I think would help to cut through that sweetness just a smidge. Um, but yeah, pick this up. Tell me what you think. Do you think that it could use a little bit more acidity? Maybe you, maybe you disagree. So at any rate, if you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, feel free to drop those in the comments below. And I look forward to having a sip again with you soon.